Time now for the Oscars edition of Pop News. Adrian, take it away because I want to eat the popcorn. Well, yeah, I love that we have popcorn for Pop News, but again, everybody is checking out the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Now, no matter whether they win or lose, the Oscar nominees will be bringing home some of this inside of their amazing swag bags, Distinctive Assets, which is an independent company not affiliated by the Academy, provided these goodies to Hollywood's top talent. In addition to a slew of health and beauty products, they have the amazing candles over here that even I have been sniffing on. So yummy. Tasty food. They've got chocolates over here. Mm -hmm. There are vacations to California, Greece, along with personal training sessions, spa experiences. Each gift bag is valued at more than six figures. So wow. Dan's dropping popcorn. Yeah, he's spilling all over himself. <laughs> oh. A preview of what he'll be doing tonight in his sweatpants. Well, <laughs> He'll be watching the Oscars with his lovely wife, Bianca, right. in sweatpants. This morning is not going well. <laughs> well it's all about it, the drawstring. Well, speaking of fashion, guys, when it comes to the Oscar looks, it may not be who you wear, but what color that really oh. matters. The fashion brand Accessorize analyzed over 40 years of styles. The best actress nominees wore to the awards, and it turns out the luckiest is gold which Emma Stone wore in 2017 when she won for La La Land. 43% of Best Actress nominees who wore gold took home the Oscar. The unluckiest color is green, like Kate Winslet wore when she was up for the Titanic in 1998. But again, that was 1998. She did win an Oscar 10 years later wearing silver. So apparently metallic is a good thing. Okay. Everything's shiny. Uh, that movie, The Favorite, was really good. And Emma Stone is really great in it. Yeah, so. Is she nominated? I can't even remember if she's nominated, but well, so Emma. Without the Oscars, you wouldn't have the Razzies, which honors oh, I less know. spectacular. All of These Lit's are Witch's favorite. favorite movies. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watch. Binge watch classics. The movie Holmes and Watson is the big winner, if you want to call it that, this year, taking home prizes for worst picture, worst director, I have not seen this one, but I mean, come remake, on. Worst supporting actor for John C. Riley. Melissa McCartney was named worst actress for Life of the Party and The Happy Time Murders, but she's also nominated for Best Actress at the Oscars for Can You Ever Forgive Me? So again, she's on both ends of the uh, oh, spectrum there. Yeah. That's just showing range. We all do. We all, we all have some range. Mm -hmm. um, finally, it seems what everybody wants to do their own cover of Shallow from A Star is Born. Yesterday, we showed you Nick Jonas. Today, it's Kate Hudson. But with a twist, belting out the song while doing Pilates. Who knew? I think she sounds amazing. She does. Yeah, yeah. she sounds amazing. And she's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there, you just send it. Keep your tail down. I'm her pulling my hamstring and just she's watching this. listening to the Pilates instructor. Well, her, her trainer is like saying, focus, honey. Concentrate. You got to have the right form here. I never knew what Pilates was. That, that looks like a medieval torture. <laughs> like, what? That's, that's the, like it's the reformer, right? Yeah, it's the yeah reformer. so anyways. <laughs> Oh, one reminder, you know, we've got a lot of action for you, right, coming up? Yeah, you can catch the big Oscar countdown show live from the red carpet starting at 1 Eastern. And you can watch the show itself live at 8 Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.